Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a filtered breeder box. I'm using this sponge filter attachment. I just took the sponge off of it and this is what it looks like. I'm using an old tank, a filter cartridge, and some silicone and a drill. Now I'm using a 6.35 millimeter drill bit. I recommend using the bigger size, the biggest size that you need. I didn't have any bigger attachments, um, but it would make it a lot easier because I had to drill multiple holes at the bottom to get the right size for um, the sponge filter attachment. So I just popped off the top like that and I slid it on the bottom. I wanted to secure this, so I used some silicone. And then I went ahead and drilled five holes for the overflow in the aquarium, so then it doesn't end up sinking to the bottom. And once I turned it on, you can see it starts to sink a little bit, but it's just adjusting. And the overflow holes worked perfectly, so the tank didn't end up sinking because there's water that's being pushed back into the main tank. This not only provides aeration, but also filtration. The filter pushes new water up into the little tank and then goes back into the main tank with the overflow. I used the filter cartridge for the bottom of the sponge filter because the sponge I had was way too big and bulky, so I just used the filter cartridge. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please check out my Instagram and subscribe.